What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So finally something I've been waiting for here and something I've been waiting to share with you guys I've been trying here for a couple of weeks or so is the official GeForce Now app for the Steam Deck. Bringing us more features and a little bit better experience to the Steam Deck streaming games through GeForce Now. So I want to get into it a little bit, show some of the app, a little bit of the gameplay and some comparisons. So let's go ahead and get into it, the GeForce Now app for the Steam Deck. All right, so like I said, this is official now, and I believe it's going to replace the current download that does the browser install, and it will be now giving you the native app experience here on the Steam Deck with the ability to stream a lot of games that either don't run well on your deck or you want to save battery life or maybe games that aren't supported like Fortnite, Call of Duty, and others that will kind of take a look at here. But yeah, this loads in very similar to what you might have been used to if you were using this on the browser, but it is a little bit nicer, smoother experience. It's pretty easy to navigate everything with the controllers, or you could still just use the touch screen and touchpad as well. And like I said, there's a ton, a ton of games on GeForce now, over 2000 games and always adding more every single week. So there's a lot of stuff here that might run difficult on the Steam Deck or not at all or not be supported that you can get into. As far as our settings, it's a bit more robust now with the native app as well. Customize our uh, bit rate. We can certainly change our resolution. We could even stream higher to the Steam Deck and kind of downsample that. Sometimes I'll do that with 1200p. We can go all the way up to 4K as well. And you could dock this to your TV and get 4K 60 through your Steam Deck looking great as well, offering a much better experience if you're docking to a 4K TV so you can get that higher resolution. You can also go up to 120 FPS now, and from what I understand, they are looking into the possibility of 90 FPS support, which would smooth things out. Also, 10-bit color and HDR10, so a lot of robust features and everything here that you would expect to see from the native app. Certainly needs a little bit of polishing maybe, and again, some more features like that 90 FPS, but a great start for the official app here on deck. Of course, the other great thing is being able to run games at much higher settings as well. Something like Doom the Dark Ages, while mostly playable on the Steam Deck, can be pretty rough and at low settings and all that. But here on GeForce Now, we could do anything from 800p to 4K, and we could be docked or playing natively here on the device. You hold down the start button and you'll get into some settings as well where you can bring up statistics, see all about your stream and how that's doing, what your uh, codec is, your resolution, HDR on or off. All that kind of good stuff we can also change that to a more compact view which we'll do here as well you can adjust settings for your microphone your on-screen display on the fly you can change your max bit rate and some of those options in here as well and if you get into your gameplay or your heads up display you can change where your uh, stats are at you can get rid of the microphone altogether and those kind of customizations here for your home screen so again all the stuff you would expect to see from a native GeForce Now app. We can also turn on our overlay for Steam Deck. This will only be for what's happening on the local hardware. It's got nothing to do really with the game or the stream other than telling us that that 90 FPS refresh is kind of like that's what we're getting from the stream. So the stream's 120 FPS, but because we don't support a 90 lock on the stream or 120 on the deck, we'll be uh, pretty much maxing that 90 most of the time. I had a few jitters and stutters here and there, but my internet's been a little crazy the past week or so too. They've been doing some work here, but ultimately uh, still getting a pretty good experience here on GeForce now with this. The app definitely feels better than what the browser felt to me. And being able to jump into games that aren't supported, like maybe Call of Duty or Fortnite or others here, is a nice perk as well. If you've got a good internet connection and you can keep your ping down, the input latency actually feels really good and I don't really have any problem with those games this way on the Steam Deck. And you can do that 120 FPS if you were docked, say to a TV or a capture card like I am here. You could change some game settings and certainly lock this thing to a solid 120 FPS if you wanted to and get a good experience docked that way as well with the Steam Deck. So much more versatile here with having this native app versus what we had before on the browser. And again, moving back over to Doom, it's really apparent the kind of differences you can get when you're on GeForce Now versus local when we switch over to Steam Deck native here. When it comes to just being able to run the game at maxed out settings on GeForce Now versus low here on the deck and also at much lower frame rate. You can pretty much get yourself that 120 FPS or higher in Doom here at nightmare, ultra nightmare settings. And natively, it is much more difficult to keep this game playable. There's plenty of areas where we're in the 20s, we're on low settings. And not that it's not playable, but on GeForce now, it looks much better visually. The higher frame rate feels great. And the input latency is definitely good here, especially for the ultimate tier in Doom, even though it's really fast paced. 
has been a great experience. So if you have a great internet connection and you want to give it a shot, something like cloud gaming, I've used for hmm, GFN, I've used about five years on many different PCs, even before we had all of these handheld PCs that were getting more popular. And it lets you play games that either don't play well enough on the Steam Deck or aren't supported at all and save you battery life and all kinds of different advantages that you can get from streaming in the cloud. So it might be something worth checking out if you haven't already. And if you have been using GeForce Now and have been waiting for the official app for the Steam Deck, it should be out now. You should be able to go ahead and download that on the official site. I'll put a link in the description to help you get over there. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. The official Steam Deck app for GeForce Now working great here. I love to see it. Hopefully, they'll get us maybe that 90 FPS stream so we can kind of cap things and get them pretty smooth for this display. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.